Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Bison Video Blog back here in Sioux Falls at the Summer League Basketball Tournament. The North Dakota State men advance on with a 70-68 to thriller over the University of South Dakota and earn a date in the semifinals. With Jeff Kolpak and Mike McFeely, I'm Dom Izzo. This was another <laughs> Bison thriller here in Sioux Falls, Jeffrey, that we've gotten used to over the last few years. And freshman to Javis Miller steals the show with a go-ahead basket and then the game-sealing block to get this win for the Bison. Freshman, yeah. yeah. I mean, you true. need one of, yeah. a true Freshman, they needed somebody like that to come up, and we thought that coming in with, of course, you know, Bowden Scunberg and Grant Nelson, NDSU went with those two for most of the game, but, you know, you can't win a game with two guys, and somebody else had to do something. And to Javis Miller, that three-pointer that tied it with Ooh. just over a minute left was, was huge. And then, and we, I mean, we could talk the, this whole thing about his, yeah. his final minute. It was just fantastic of what he stepped up and did it. And, Mike, the Bison went seven minutes without a basket and yet still found a way to win this yeah, game here and today. Yeah, you know, Dave Richmond is a, is a man of process and of some of the same cliches. But, yeah. I mean, it's true this time. It's, it's March. And it, yeah. you can, if you go 39 minutes without scoring and win 2-1, to one, <laughs> it's still matters, a win in March right? and you advance and they're in the semifinals. Man. They're not going to be able to do that against South Dakota State no. tomorrow night. They're not going to be able to go seven minutes without a basket. They're going to need more again from Tajavis Miller or Jakari White yeah. or Damari Wheeler-Thomas or something. Grant Nelson was wonderful tonight, just spectacular. Double -double. Bowden Scunberg stepped up when they needed somebody to score in the first half. The Bison were engaged defensively. They were locked yep. in. Whatever issues they had at the second half of the Western Illinois game were gone, yeah. and they're advancing. Yeah, I... You look at it where the start of this game, similar to the Bison women's game yesterday, where the new players out here just seem completely yeah. rattled. And as, yeah. as Dave Richmond said in the postgame press conference, that to Javis missed his first shot by six miles, yeah. which yep. is not too far yep. off from being accurate there. Nope. And and it's I guess we kind of forget that sometimes that these kids are 18 Damn. years old and they haven't been here before and they're excited and they're nervous and they don't know what to expect because they don't get any time on this floor. Right. They don't get any practice or a shoot around before they come out come here for out here. the game. And so it takes a while to get the shooting, the background yeah. down, the, the big crowds against them, all the lights and all that stuff. It just it just takes time. This is a gutty win here. And we mm -hmm. talk about with how they have done this in the past and they've earned another team. Well, obviously, we'll talk about South Dakota State here in a second. But now they've won six of seven. This is a, another Dave Richmond hallmark, Jeff, of playing their best basketball at the end of the season. Yeah, no accident. They made the summer league title game yeah. in the last four years. And and. They have that innate ability, I think, just to make plays down the stretch. Maybe it's the style of play. It's not yeah. helter-skelter up and down. When it comes down to close games in March Madness, it's always a possession game, yeah. right? The last minute or two, it's a, it's never really back and forth stuff. It's come down to you know, a set play or a defensive stop here and there. And that's exactly what we saw yeah. tonight. And, and, we, and we, throughout the season, we always get on Dave about that sometimes the offense is just unsightly. And it's just it's just a slug fest yep. and just not Slog, yeah. it's not pretty basketball, yeah. but that's what works yeah. in tournament basketball. Yeah. At the end of the tournament yeah. basketball yes. games yeah. too. Yeah. I mean that's that, what it comes that's down what to. Works in, in Sioux Falls and we question Dave every year for thirty <laughs> games and they're always in the hunt in Sioux Falls. Yeah. And we should all apologize and never question him again. You you, you question him. Now for people that yeah <laughs> never. I'm turning my recorder yeah. on next time for the conversations <laughs> down here then. Wow. So for people that watch the end of the game, obviously they're going to freak out. And Eric Peterson, the head coach of South Dakota, was furious that he thought there was a missed call. We looked at the Midco replays, our own replay, NDSU's uh, video guys. It looked like a, a clean block that Tajavis Miller had at the end it of the did, game. Uh, it did. Yeah, South Dakota was going nuts as expected. Yeah. But if, if you see the replays with the yeah. right angles, they're just not going to make that call no, at the no, end of a game with no. four seconds left yeah. in a, in a one-point game. It's just not going to happen. Um, heck of a play by, oh, by to Javis Miller. But Bowden Scunberg actually it looked like whiffed on trying to block it, and so he didn't touch, touch him. Uh, yeah. uh, Damani Hayes, Hayes. Yeah. and to Javis just got up and, yeah. and stuffed it. So now here we go, boys. Again, it's round three with South Dakota State and NDSU. Each team won on their home floor. The Bison actually held the Jacks in, in Brookings. They were in that game. NDSU shot 60% from the floor and lost the game. Zeke Mayo had 41 points in that game against the Bison back uh, in February. This is going to be another dandy, and it's going to be raucous in here tomorrow night. It will be. This is it's, this is what we talk about. Yeah. This, is, this is why Paul Mills doesn't like this format <laughs> is because there's going to be 10,000 Jackrabbit yep. fans in here tomorrow, and they are – 
they've been known to not like NDSU athletic teams yeah. before in Brookings, yeah. South Dakota, and hmm. Sioux Falls. And so it is hmm. going to be loud. It is going to be alcohol fueled. It is <laughs> going to be nuts inside here. It'll be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And right now, Jeffrey, the Jacks have had the better of the Bison, obviously in football. They got them in wrestling. They split so far in basketball this season. This is going to be really intriguing to see how this plays out tomorrow night. Yeah, you're coming to the Lions Den here, yeah. too, tomorrow. This yeah. is not NDSU in Western Illinois at the at the Denny. This yeah. is NDSU in the in the teeth of the action here. And you talk about the true freshman. We started with this, and we can end it with it. Now, they're, they're going to have to come up big again, and, and the atmosphere is going to be double what yeah. it was tonight. The first semifinal will be Oral Roberts against St. Thomas. The Tommies knocked off Western Illinois. That should be – is is that a game that, that – St. Thomas, can they score enough? Can they can they stop a Warrior in a game like that tomorrow? How night? excited were you when St. Thomas won the game? <laughs> I was because I said they would win a game of the Summer yeah, League okay. tournament. That's the only reason so why. Jack so Jack is enrolled at St. Thomas <laughs> right now. You can get that. He'll be a okay. cover uh, with his mom. Yeah, I, so. I, I don't know that St. Thomas. They have a wonderful player uh, in Andrew Rody. And Andrew so Rody is so good. I just I just don't know that they have the horses yeah. to to take on. Uh, Oral Roberts for 40 minutes and win the game. I, Oral Roberts is, is yeah. good, man. And they're old. And they're veteran. Yeah, yeah. they're all like and 30 years around. old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the women's side, three upsets there. All three lower seeds advance. So South Dakota State will play Oral Roberts in the first game, and then it's Kansas City and Omaha in the second semifinal. Can we just give which, it to South Dakota which we State? Already Let's just give it, it to was, it. It was the South Dakota it's, State it's Invitational. Over. And yeah. It almost is a, a lock certain on that for heading into uh, Tuesday. But the Bys will play on with another game coming up here Monday night against South Dakota State. Another late night start for uh, the old guys here. They got to rest up because got another 8:30 tip. Hey, I'm right there with you. I'm, my, our birthdays are next week. We know we're, we're staying up late. For Jeff Goldbeck, Mike McFeely, I'm Dom Izzo. That's the Bison video blog here at the Summer League Tournament in Sioux Falls.